Hello, hello. Are you there? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. How's everything? How's it going? Everything good? Hi, teacher. Everything's okay. Everything fine. Great. Glad to hear that. Okay. Well, are we ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, I am. All right. Here we go. Well done. We're going to be studying our class number eight tonight. All right. So let's get started. At once. Okay, give me one second, please. Just one second. I need to go ahead and click on this one. All right, here we go. Well, my pleasure to be here in our class number eight. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're doing fine. And this is our class number eight. So everybody may be welcome. All right. Definitely, we have a challenge. <laughs> we are locating places on a map. And tonight, the class, it's also based on giving and following directions, right? Probably it's something we don't do much or we had a little difficulties with this because now we follow apps, maps, right? such as Google Maps or such as ways when we're driving or when we're going to a place we don't really know how to get there. But this is something we're going to try to do in English. I know it's a bit hard, <laughs> but it's okay. We can do it, okay? So usually people, when they want to go to a place, they say, uh, how can I get somewhere, right? So in a more formal way in a more polite way can you tell me could you tell me please how to get to a place right for instance if you are new in a city and you don't know the places and you need to go to a place then you ask for directions or you get a map and you start following the directions on a map right either well, on paper, used to be on paper long ago, probably now it's more digital, right? And with a GPS, and that's kind of easier, but it's just still something you have to follow. All right. So can you tell me how to get to? We're going to have this as a reference, okay? We're going to imagine this post is the street. So if we go from the post office to the laundromat, we walk up, yes, like here. If we go from the drugstore to the police station or from the laundromat to the post office, we walk down. So you have to imagine this is the street, okay? So as a reference, I have placed this image give me one second i think i need to move this a little bit all right one minute okay let's put it right here okay so if we go from the library to the drugstore walk up or walk down what is it from the library to the drugstore it is go up okay walk up we usually say walk if we are walking, right? But it's, it's okay if you say go up, yes? When you say go, so you're not specifying either walking, riding a bike, on a motorcycle, driving, whatever. Or whichever is the way you, you go, right? But in this Sir, case, yes? I have a question, but if you don't know the numbers of the streets and you just want to to say that he he needs to he or she needs to walk um, 
for just, one block, for uh, two blocks. Three blocks, for mm -hmm. example. How can you say go up or go down if you don't know the numbers of the street? If you are on the on the street that you're supposed to walk, you just say go ahead or walk on this street. You, maybe you don't know the name or the number of the street or the avenue, right? So you just say go ahead on this street, go uh, for two or three blocks probably. So you don't really need to specify, but <laughs> supposedly, right? <laughs> in okay. the Thank cities, you, yeah, in the cities we have the names of the street and all that. In San Salvador or in our cities, that doesn't happen. Or sometimes the names have been painted, but they have been erased or damaged. That's a problem we have in our cities. But in developed countries or in nice cities, the, the names are supposed to be there, right? So let's suppose this is the name of the street, Main Street, right? So if we go okay. from the library to the drugstore, would be walk up, okay? So we're gonna follow. We're gonna follow this uh, pattern. Of course, uh, depending on the reality, we will have to adapt. You just say, oh, go up on this street or go down on this street for one or two blocks, okay? One, two or three blocks, whatever. Of course, people don't usually walk more than five blocks, I would say. Otherwise, you will have to take a taxi, take the bus, or take any other type of transportation. It, it all depends, because some cultures, they do walk a lot. But in our country, walking for more than five blocks would be a lot, I think. Unless that you want to walk. Or some people as tourists, probably, they want to walk, right? Okay, so from the library to the drugstore, from the post office to the laundromat, from the post office to the bakery, from the library to the bakery, from the police station to the laundromat. Si vamos hacia arriba en el poste, vamos a decir? Walk up, like up and down, up and down, right? So, si venimos de cualquiera de estos lugares hacia abajo, vamos a decir? Mm -hmm. Walk down. Walk down. Walk down. Walk down. Exactly. Bye. Ok. Tenemos que imaginarnos. Obviously, nosotros no vamos a escalar el poste, pero es como que simboliza, ¿verdad? La street y los lugares que están acá y los lugares que están en el otro lado. So, it's like right and left, right and left. Ok. On the right significa hacia su derecha. On the left, of course, hacia su izquierda. Across from, lo vimos ayer. Next to and between. Yes. Va, y tenemos el primer example. Las chicas enfrente de dónde están? In front, In front of, of the post office. office, right? ¿Y a dónde quieren ir? To the laundromat. Okay. So she needs to do the laundry, probably, right? So she's going from the post office to the laundromat. And then she says, excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the laundromat from here? Okay, desde acá hasta el laundromat. And the other lady says, sure, walk up Main Street and you'll see the laundromat on the right, across from the drugstore, yes? So it's como que, fuera caminando hacia acá, hacia arriba, como si esto fuera realmente la calle, ¿ya? Entonces le dice, walk up Main Street. O sea, suba o siga hacia allá por esta calle. Walk up Main Street. And you'll see, you'll see, es como usted va a ver. You'll see the laundromat on the right. Across from the drugstore. Y le da algo más de referencia, algo más que está enfrente, ¿verdad? And then, thank you. Yeah. All right. Ah, vamos a hacer lo opposite. Este chico quiere llegar a dónde? Está acá enfrente de la drugstore. Al post office. He wants to go to the post office. So he says, excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the post office from here? And the same pattern. Vamos a seguir el mismo pattern, como el mismo modelo. Okay. Sure. Claro, walk down Main Street and you'll see the post office on the left. Si viene hacia abajo, obviamente el post office va a quedar 
a la izquierda, ¿verdad? Next to, next to the high school, right? Thank you. So, eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer. Como, ese es el patrón. Walk up or walk down. Luego, ¿de qué lado quedaría el lugar al que vamos? On the right or on the left. Y de referencia, otro lugar más. Across from, next to, or between. Is this example clear? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. I got it. All right. So, vamos a ver. Imagine that we are in the library y queremos ir a la drugstore. So, diríamos, excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the drugstore from here? Uh -huh. La otra persona contestaría perfectamente, sure. Walk up or walk down? Walk up. Walk, walk up, up Main Street. And you'll see the drugstore. On the, on left. the left side. On the left, on the left side of the street, yes. On the left, across from? The laundromat. Or laundromat. next to? Barbershop. Next Barber. to the barbershop, exactly. Para mejor práctica, obviamente voy a enviar este, este modelo, right? This picture. Pero también voy a enviar otro que sería este, ¿ok? Y esa es ya como más práctica. El lugar donde están es el que está arriba. Y el lugar al que quieren ir es el que aparece a la parte del numerito. Yes. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. Here we go. Let me get the number. Let's see how many participants. We're going to make about seven or eight groups. And then everybody needs to participate, okay? Here we go. Está en el library y quiere ir a la clinic. Ok. Ese es el primero, si gusta. O... Vaya, está bien. Está en el library y quiere ir a la clinic. Del um, library sería um, work up uh -huh. on the main street. Yes. On the on the right between bakery and shoe store. Exactly. Y hago yo el siguiente. Están en la bakery y van a la police station. Veamos. 
Eh, okay, que police station. Ah, walk down on Main Street and you'll find it on the left side, eh, on the right side. Como lo que vamos a hacer es practicar la dirección. Entonces, lo que podemos hacer es compartir la otra pantalla. La de la también. Y vamos a guiar a nuestro mundo, así como ahorita. Police Station. Y ya luego, así solo practicamos la conversación. Así que ya no nos del ejemplo. Y vamos a compartir la otra. Ajá. Eso sí fue. Copiar lo, las, las preguntas, vean. Ajá, cabal. Para ya ir a, generando. Uh -huh. Me parece, sí, me parece. Está bien así. Sí, de, de, de on the right eh, across from lo que está enfrente es Toy Story Store, perdón, <laughs> Story <laughs> Toy Store eh, va, es que si está va, si está usted va, le, va a des, le dice que camine hacia arriba, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque ahí en el dibujito, en la across, across the eh, across the, the Toy Story. story. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. eh, on, the right, on the right es a la derecha, ¿verdad? Eh, y sí. a la izquierda. Que right, right creo que... Sí, sí derecha que sería, sí. ¿verdad? Ajá, right es derecha, ajá. Y la left es la F. izquierda. Sí, izquierda. Uh -huh. Caminar hacia abajo es walk down, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Correcto. si estamos en, en drugstore y quiero ir a high school. Ajá, sería Waldau. Ajá, eso es lo que... Eh, ¿Qué significaba Waldau? Walk up. Walk up. Eh, es como... Camina para arriba. Ah. Caminando hacia arriba, eh, Waldau sí. es hacia abajo. Exacto. On the right es a la derecha, on the left a la izquierda. Entonces ahí solo es de ubicarse justamente en la calle, en la, en la barrita donde dice Main Street. Ahí está en la parte de arriba. Y en... This meeting is being recorded. Uh, can you tell me how to get to the barber shop from here? Estamos en high school. Okay, there you are. Sure. Welcome to the main street. And you see the. In the case of the. the... Oh. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, ajá, yo le digo, excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the library from here? Mi whole kit in the clinic. In the library in the library. Mm, okay. Uh, sure. Walk down Main Street and you see the library 
on the left across from the post office. Okay. Yes, sir. Ay, lo siento. No, no sé si logran ver lo que tengo ahorita claro. en pantalla. Ahorita seguimos viendo la de las seis imágenes. Ah, el mapa no sé. Siento. Bueno, pues ha sido más fácil. Mm, pero igual te, siento te que. Ir? Qué horrible, porque podríamos seguir practicando Sería y siento eso. que estamos perdiendo mucho el tiempo. Sí, sí. Sigamos entonces. Voy a... Hagamos una cosa. Este, voy a tratar de compartir la otra pantalla y mejor veamos esta en la en la en el WhatsApp. Sí, en el WhatsApp, sí. Vaya, entonces voy a hacer esto y voy a compartir la otra. Vaya. Ahora, en 3.5 millones de dólares, entonces, según autoridades, el cargo de la pregunta completa diría: Excuse me, can you tell me how to get the police station from here? O sea, ya usted me responde. Sure. Walk down Main Street and you see the across from the high school. Or a Walk down Main Street police station on the, on the right between mm. Mark and Lifer. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Vamos a ver con la drugstore. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Can you tell me how to, to get to the drugstore? From her. From her. Okay. Sure. Uh, welcome to Main Street. Uh, you will see the drugstore on the, on the right. Uh, across from the lotter. Con un valor estimado de 37 de millones de dólares. Ah, excelente. Ajá, ¿sabes que sí? Sí, sí, bravo. Ya le vamos. Ajá, es que yo vi. Ah, perdón, es que estaba leyendo el ejemplo. Eh, nos tocaría preguntarle Barbershop, ¿verdad? Ay, de library. Ajá, es que. Sí, perdón. Pero vaya, también, el, también el ejercicio. Podría haberse hecho así, vea. Sí. Pero vaya, usted está en la high school, está abajo, vea. Yo le voy a preguntar dónde está Barber Shop, que está arriba. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces, excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the Barber Shop from here? Sure, well, of my screen that you'll see the barbershop on the right mm -hmm. the right is do a store across from the no, from the toy store Across from eh, Bakery sería Bakery, ¿verdad? Bakery. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y next to drugstore, ¿verdad? Next to uh -huh. drugstore. Así puede ser. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, queda una. Una. Le pregunto a Ana, ¿eh? ¿verdad? Sí. 
Um, es que estamos en la police station que está abajo uh -huh. y vamos a ir a toys store que está arriba ¿verdad? entonces excuse me can you tell me how to get to the toy store from here sure walk up walk down main street you'll see the the You'll see the clinic. Clinic. Ah, no, quiero ver. Sí. Ahí dice, va subiendo, ¿verdad? Sí. Y está, dice, on the Estamos left. The... On the left. On the left. Oh. Ahí está la barber no. shop. On the left. On the left, all right. Oh, oh, left. Si sube de la police station, y va para la para el toy store, verdad? Uh, Sería a la a la a la izquierda, a left. La izquierda. Uh -huh. Left. And two walk down Main Street, you will see the. Así sería entonces. Walk down. What up sería? Main Street, and you see the the barber shop on the left, next to barber shop. The you is no no entiendo qué significa you see. Ver. Ajá. Tú ves que. Sí, ella dijo que cuando tú veas dice. A de post office. Ah, tú, tú vas a ver la, ajá, el lugar a la derecha, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. bueno. Jules, sí. Uh -huh. right. Left. Ajá, right. sí, dijo. Right. Derecha, right. left and izquierda. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Jules, go down Main Street and the Jules, sí, de. de. Sí, así es. On the left. On the left. Mm -hmm. um, on the left. Um, uh, between the bank on, and barber shop. Barber shop. Mm -hmm. Ahora podemos ubicarnos en. Ay, no, pero que, es que cuesta si no vemos, ¿verdad? El, el diálogo. Sí, no, no este, ¿dónde vamos a estar para poder hacer bien la, la oración? Ah, sí, ajá, ah, hay que Podemos estar... empezar, por ejemplo, eh, siempre empecemos con, con las figuritas que están en Library, Bakery, Bank, y ajá. Luego busquemos otro lugar para, para que no sea clínico, para que aprovechemos de... Ejemplo, si me cuesta un poco. Vaya, entonces, este, a, a su izquierda. Ah, sí, así que debería, ajá. A la izquierda, ajá. ¿no? Ajá, el library. Lo mismo con, ajá. si sube. La barbershop queda on the right y la bakery on the left, a la izquierda. On the left, ajá, uh -huh. ok. Sí, bueno. Hey. Welcome back. 
How was it? Long. <laughs> Long practice. Not that easy, teacher. Not that easy, I know. You got to break your head with this. I know. It wasn't easy for me either, believe me. It's because we don't usually follow maps. We don't usually know or pay much attention where it is on the right or what is on the left, right? So, and you have to be uh, alternating between the two. Uh, images, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> These children. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. This was the map that you have to take as a reference, right? From here to here, you walk up. The opposite would be walk down. Okay, if you are going up, all these places are on the right. Yes, if you're going down, all these places would be on the right. Yes, if you are going up, all these places would be on the left. And if you're going down, all these places would be on the left. All right, so taking this into consideration. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. What is the first exercise you have to do you have to go from the library to the clinic right remember from the library to the clinic so let's go back to the map from the library to the clinic it's right here lo primero que hacemos es ubicar yes so it's say i'm going to get Something to mark, let's see. Hmm. Why not here? From the library, we have to go to the clinic. Yes? So it's walk up or walk down? Walk up. Walk up. Walk, up. walk up but we have to be nice and we say excuse me can you tell me how to get to the clinic from here yes yes okay repeat it excuse me can you tell excuse me how me to get to the, to the clinic from here yes it's okay excuse you can do it by yourself it's not a problem so we say we go from the library to the clinic okay Sure, walk up Main Street. Ahí la, va a depender de la persona si se quiere ir de este lado, de este lado de la calle, ¿verdad? So, walk up Main Street and you will see the clinic on the, on the right. Right. On the right. Across from Toy Store. Toy, toy Store. Toy store. Oh, Ahí wow. tienen varias opciones. Across from the Toy Store next to the bakery or between, between the bakery, bakery and, shoe store. and shoe store yes that was it okay bye dejemos ahí estamos from the library to the clinic all right next wait a minute next one is from the bakery to the police office. Police station. Police. From the bakery to the police office to the police station. I think it's about the same thing. All right, bakery to the police station. So once again, I'm gonna get bakery. Hold on. Necesito esconderlos a ustedes para ver todo. Okay. <laughs> from the bakery to the police station. Yes. Entonces, ¿ahí qué nos toca? Nos toca bajar. Bakery to the police station. Aquí gran curva. Aquí me crucé la calle bien en diagonal, ¿verdad? Bien cool. All right. <laughs> From the bakery to the police station. And again, excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the police station? From here, desde acá, right? 
And the other person says, sure. Walk. Down. Walk down Apple. Main Street. Main Street. And you will see the police station. And you will see the, the on the station. left. On the left. On the left. On the right. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Recuérdense que I no podemos the, bajar uh -huh. de retro. Eh? Across from <laughs> high school. <laughs> Vamos a caer. Okay. Yes, you will Between see the police station. Library. Exactly. You will see the police station on the right. Between the library and the bank. Across from high school. High school. High school. Across from high school. Right. Okay. Good. Bye. Nos vamos de acá. Salimos otra vez. No, ni modo. Lo vamos a tener que estar haciendo. Uh -huh. From the bank to the Drugstore. From the bank to the drugstore. Ubicamos el bank. Yes, ya ubicaron el bank. From the yes. bank to the drugstore. To the drugstore. All right. Let's see. Let's get a line. All right. From the bank to the drugstore. Aquí por encima no nos podemos ir, definitivamente no. Vamos a salir. Ok. From the bank to the drugstore. Yes. Ah, en medio de la calle. All right. So, excuse me. Can you tell me how to get to the drugstore from here? Yes. Sure. 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 Like up Main Street. Walk up. Up Main Street. Main Street. And you'll see and the drugstore drug on the left, next, on the left, the left, next across. to the barber shop. Across from the across long long. Long. or across it's from okay. the long. Sure, walk up in the street. You will see the drugstore on the left, next to the oh. barber shop, across from the laundromat. You see? Thank you. You see, ya lo estamos haciendo. Very good. Okay. The next place. ¿Alguien me puede decir cuál es el next place? Please. Uh -huh. From the laundromat to the... To the library. library. To the library. library. From the laundromat to the library. 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 Aquí ya no le vamos a poner líneas porque ya aquí ya quedó claro que es walk up y que es walk down, ¿verdad? Excuse me, can you tell me? Vamos a hacer siempre el spotlight porque podemos ver. Can you tell me how to get to the library from here? Sure. Mm -hmm. Walk down. Walk down Main Street. Main Street. And you will see. The on library. The library. On the right. On the right. On the right. Across the barbershop. From the barbershop. Across barber from the barbershop. Okay, nice. Walk down Main Street. You'll see the library. On the right. Across from. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. All right, next to the police station, you can say. Right? All right. Yeah. High school to barbershop. From the high school to the barbershop. That is the next one. Yes. Okay. So, excuse me. Can you tell me how to get to the barbershop from here? Mohamed, somebody, a volunteer? Mm -hmm. uh, walk uh, up Main Street. Mm -hmm. Walk up Main Street and you'll see it. On the left, you'll see the barber shop on the left. On the left, uh, uh -huh. across from bakery, across between from the bakery, between drugstore and toy store. Between the drugstore and the toy store, exactly, right? The next one, is that all? No, uh, no. The police the, station to toy store. From the police station to the toy store. Uh -huh. from the police station to the toy store. This is the cerca. Usted le dice, ah, ahí está. No. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no, it's there. Um, podría ser go past the bank. 
justo al pasar el banco. Uh -huh. Podría ser otra opción si está súper, súper cerca, ¿ok? Obviously, podría ser siempre la misma forma. Walk up Main Street and you'll see the toy store on the... Uh -huh. On the left. On the left. On the left. Mm -hmm. Between the barber shop Between and the bank. Between the barber shop and the bank. Across, Across from, from the clinic. Across from the, the clinic. clinic. Exactly. All right. So, not a big deal. <sighs> okay. Unfortunately, no todos vivimos en la misma ciudad, así que no todos podemos hablar de lugares reales, right? So, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer otra practice, pero ahora nos vamos a imaginar que ya no es walk up or walk down, sino que es, digamos, una avenida más plana. O sea, no es que tenemos que ir hacia arriba o bajar. Entonces, vamos a hacer con esta. Y esta es una maravilla. Vamos a mantener como los mismos ideas, <coughs> walk along instead of. En lugar de decir walk up o walk down, vamos a decir walk along. No walk along, ¿verdad? Walk along. ¿Ok? Walk along es como camine, vaya, siga a lo largo de esta calle, de esta avenida. On the right, on the left, siempre vamos a mantener. Obviamente, si venimos de acá hacia acá, todos estos lugares nos quedan on the right. Y todos los del otro lado nos quedan on the left. Y viceversa, si venimos de acá por acá, todos estos lados nos quedan on the left y todos estos nos quedan on the right. Eso es como estarse retorciendo para buscar la, la lateralidad. Es, es como se llama. <ríe> ok. Y luego across from, next to, between, ya lo sabíamos, ¿verdad? Que es las prepositions. Vale. Ubiquémonos acá en el parking lot. Justo acá. Iremos a parquear, pero nos tenemos que ir de acá hasta el zoo, porque en el zoo no hay parque. Ajá. Y entonces usted dice, espérenme, vamos a esconder un poquito más. Excuse me. Bueno, en realidad no era hasta el sur, sino que era hasta el hospital. Pero pasa, ¿verdad? Que cerca de los hospitales no hay parking lot. Y he visto ese relajo. Entonces, queremos ir desde el parking lot hasta el hospital. Entonces, excuse me. Could you please, lo que les decía, cada vez que uno pide ayuda o algo en inglés es como, se tiende a ser como bien formal. Yes? Entonces, could you please tell me how to get to the hospital from here? Yes? Esta. Esta es Central Avenue. Dice, sure. Yes? Walk along Central Avenue and you'll see the hospital on the Left. On the left, porque vamos left. allá, ¿verdad? A mí realmente me, le, les tengo que confesar que me gusta este spotlight porque los hace ver desde acá, right? Sí. Ok, sure, walk along Central Avenue and you will see, o sea, ahí lo va a ver. Generalmente estos lugares tienen como su letrero, ¿verdad? Entonces uno dice, ah, ahí lo va a ver. Ok, so you will see the hospital on the left. Uh -huh. Between the museum, museum and the park. Between the museum the and the park. Si usted quiere usar otra referencia, usted le puede decir across from across the playground. From the playground. Yes, okay. One more time. Excuse me, could you please tell me how to get to the hospital from here? Sure, yes. Walk along Central Avenue, así se llama esta avenida, la avenida central, Central Avenue, and you will see the hospital on the left, yes, between, no quiero usar esta, esta referencia, between the museum and the park, yes. Obviously, aquí hay otros lugares, ¿verdad? The hotel, the gas station, the museum, the park, the university. Si me preguntan qué lugar es, es parte del university. Recuerden, sé que los campos universitarios generalmente son amplios, súper grandes. Playground and the zoo. Obviamente va a depender de dónde a dónde vaya. Por ejemplo, si va del zoo al gas station. Excuse me, could you please tell me how to get to the gas station from here? 
Sure, walk along Central Avenue and you'll see the gas mm -hmm. station on the right. On the right. right. Next to the museum. Next between to the museum. hotel and the museum. In the museum. Across, across from, from the, the university. university. Exactly. Vaya, adivinen qué es. Guess what? We have to practice. <laughs> so I'm going to send you the photos, ¿ok? So, veamos. Vamos a cambiar de participants para que practiquen con alguien más si hay necesidad de agregar. Recreate, vamos a ver. De la misma cantidad de personas, pero seguramente con another person, ¿ok? So I'll send the photo. Buenas, Herbita. Tell, tell me, me, tell me, Cody, Cody, hospital from there. Ahí está la imagen. A la que sigue es, quiero ver. To the hospital, eh, from the hospital to the hotel. Si gustas haces a tu vida. ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál era? From the hospital to the hotel. Sí. Está en usted pregunta por el teológico. Eh, sí. Entonces inicio preguntando. Bueno. Ok. Excuse me. Could you please tell me how to get to the to from here o me está diciendo el el diálogo al museo sí. sería verdad ajá entonces está, está en el zoológico y quiere ir al museo entonces sería así excuse me could you please tell me how to get to the museum from here sure veo <laughs> Se, se puede ampliar la imagen un poquito. La ve. Okay. Está en, en el zoológico y uh -huh. quiere ir al museo. Entonces uh -huh. yo tengo que contestar. Sure. Welcome along Central Avenue. And you see the, the, the machine, machine. 
El museo está entre la gas station y el hospital. Between. Ajá. Between eh, hospital and gas station. Eh, no, eso no tiene nombre. ¿Cuál? El que está, el edificio que está no, eh, puede a la que parte del playground. Como ah, va sí. el zoológico al museo sería a la derecha, entonces sería on the right. Ve del zoológico. Del zoológico a dónde me dijo? A University. A University. Ah, ajá. Excuse me, could you please tell me how to get to the university from here? Here. Sure. Igual a los centros es que yo no lo entiendo. Es que yo no lo entiendo. Ahí sería como contestar lo mismo, compañero. Ah, 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 on the on the right on the right between the university and the zoo okay thanks si sí, está bien eso de la izquierda y la derecha es lo que me confunde un poco ajá como Cambia. Yo en el otro me había perdido, pero a este le entendí mejor, quizás por la posición de las imágenes. Sí, sí. Ajá. Ajá. También sí. donde es que lo que me confunde es cuando, dónde estoy ubicada y si voy para acá, Ajá. tiene que ser la, dependiendo de si onda qué? University okay. on the left. On the, left. on the left, across from the gas station. Eso me había faltado a la izquierda. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? sí. <ríe> across from, uh -huh. across from gas, gas station. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí. Hola, esa, va. Vamos Ahora con la, la... Vamos con gas station. Usted me pregunta a mí. Next two es a la par. La par. Uh -huh. Ajá, next two es a la par y between es eh, en medio. En medio. Uh -huh. O sea, como le dije yo, between the parking lot and the ground. Está entre medio de esos dos lugares. Sí. Y el edificio high es atrás. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ahora sí, ya, ya más o menos, ya, ya entiendes. Sí, más o menos. Más o menos. Ahí. Si usted yo le hago las preguntas y. Ajá, yo le hago las preguntas y usted me, me da la respuesta. Por, ajá, para escucharla ahí a usted. Ajá, para, 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 para que usted escuche. Ajá, y así después para practicar. Ajá. Ok, pregunta. Excuse me. Could you please tell me how to get to the parking lot from here? Sure. Walk along the, the park from here. Entonces la respuesta sería Sure. Walk along Central Avenue. Yeah. Eh, sería Estamos en la estación de gas. Ajá, sería Central Avenue. Eh, and you'll see the... Next. You see the park. Um, next to the hospital. The zoo. Oh, the zoo. 
O puede okay. ser eh, next to the hospital. Ah, uh -huh. ah por encima, va. vamos con la cuarta. Va. Con la cuarta. Ah, uh -huh. Dice, excuse me. Excuse me. Could you please tell me how to get to the hotel from here? Eh, sure. Eh, veamos, hotel. Eh. Eh, sure. Eh, walk along um, Central Avenue and you see the, the hotel on the, on the, on the, on the right. Mm -hmm. Ahora le voy a preguntar yo, estamos en el playground y vamos a ir al, al hotel. Entonces ahí sería, excuse me. ¿Cuál me dijo? Perdón, perdón, perdón. ¿Cuál me dijo? Playground, me dijo. Estamos, ajá, estamos en el playground y vamos a irnos hacia el hotel. Mm. Vaya. Sería, excuse me. Could you please tell me how to get to the hotel from here? Sure. Okay. Well, well, along Central Avenue, and you, oh. and you see the the statue. No, and no. you see the hotel. Um, hotel. Uh, and hotel. you see the hotel. Uh -huh. on, on the, the left. Right. Um, no, on the right. Me. Would you please tell me how to get to the university from here? Sure. Walk down. Walk down. On the right. Left. Mm -hmm. And Make sure you are down on left. Mm -hmm. okay. Next to parking lot. Thanks. Excellent. Ahora usted me hagamela. I think we already finished. No problem. Don't worry. <laughs> Good, good job. <laughs> that is the idea to practice without much supervision, you see? Get excited about practicing and communication. That's great. Oh my God, I know this is a topic in which we need to practice a lot, okay? No es algo que vamos a hacer como de la noche a la mañana, ¿verdad? This topic requires a lot of practice. Es un tema que requiere mucha práctica, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. So, ahí les vamos a dejar, pues, el material, las images, para que ustedes las puedan continuar practicando. Obviously, también en the platform. You have very similar exercises, right? Me estaba comentando que había alguna situation. Ya vamos a, a tratar de... En este momento, no creo, pues, que ahorita estén working los, los técnicos, pero... During the day, yes, right? So, then we have to learn how to go from the school to the movie theater, from the restaurant to the bank, but this is something we're gonna do tomorrow, okay? So don't worry, walk along Central Avenue, walk up, walk down, go along. Vamos a usar todas esas expresiones que hemos practicado ahora ya de una forma como más más real, en un mapa ya más real, ¿ok? So, don't worry, keep practicing, ¿ok? Have a good night, enjoy. Bye, <laughs> bye. see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, bye, see you tomorrow. Night. God bless you. God bless you too.